beard. I mean, <sighs> that is, it is beer. Ugh. It's beer. Okay, so I've been doing leather work. You've been doing leather work. Open your fucking package. I am here to tell Can everybody that Will Smith and I have not had a real relationship since 2016. And you can read all about it in my new book entitled How to Destroy a Man Completely in 30 Years or Less. <laughs> or my new new book, Will Smith Ain't Shit. Or my new 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 book, Will's Got a Baby Dick, a.k.a. M.I.B. Men in Black? No, men is bitches. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. I feel like that's what Jade has been doing. Just and like just showing I haven't up. been keeping up with that kind of stuff, dog. I I, I don't think that I, I've, I've, been, I've been in this garage. That's this studio. Yeah, if you can't tell, I sit on this side of the table. Look at all these scratch all marks. Those, yeah, wow. It's all from the books and everything, man. All right, let's show the people what you've been doing. Yeah, open yours. I've been keeping up with it because I've been telling jokes about it. Um, oh, have you really? Making yeah. fun of me? No, not this. Uh, okay. <laughs> the Jada will thing. I feel bad because I made a joke that apparently, according to a new rumor, is not far from the truth. Now, mind you, be for you, like, you've seen this, obviously, but for the viewers and everything, this was my very first book I ever made. I'm in the works of making him another one just because, uh, well, you'll you'll see why. It's pretty janky. That doesn't look janky to me. Does that look janky to you folks? Is that jank? Ah, after, like, redoing and, like, doing, like, the new logo for my podcast. By the way, welcome to the Highness and Boozer. We're back. Yeah, we're back, bitches. I can't get K Vaughn's uh, podcast, by the way, or the video. Oh, yeah. This yeah. Is the He's NSA. being a little bitch. Oh. <laughs> oh, then, the one that we did with Cody? Yeah, with Cody. Yeah. And hold on, real quick. Guys, welcome to another episode of the Healy Cast. My uh, guest today is Brandon Kilo. So. Here we go, guys. Enjoy. Yeah. And but you yeah. better, you better. That enjoy. episode with Cody. I'm going to clip everything. Trust me. It's going to work for both podcasts. <laughs> I don't give a so. fuck what you say, Doug. <laughs> it's going to be so janky, just like your book. <laughs> Handmade by Healy. Dude, it's got button snaps and everything and a little twine. Thing. Listen, this was effort and heart right here. I don't give a fuck if it's a little janky. Fucking I'm a little sweating. janky. Blood. I hope there's no fucking blood on this. <laughs> um, <laughs> maybe the, not that one. Maybe the Kay Vaughn's might have a little blood in it. Well, that checks out. He'll love that. Um, uh, well, it's Kay Vaughn. He loves. <laughs> Anyways, moving on from that conversation. Jesus Christ. But yeah. yeah, guys, I have books for sale. So if you want to buy them, like 15, 20 bucks, depending on the book. The amount of effort that I can tell went into this is well worth at least seventeen dollars. So, yeah. <laughs> although these take me about every book takes me about five hours to do. Five five hours. These are artisan books, guys. You can't eat them. I mean, if, you probably could. If I was doing ten dollars an hour, it'd be fifty bucks a book, basically. Did people used to eat boiled leather when they were like desperate, like back in the depression? And shit. I'm getting ready for it. I got. Plenty back toward, you don't know where this country's going, dog. Oh man, just saying. Yeah, it's it's getting bad out there, dog. I didn't know we were going to go political today. Um, so I've been. We're uh, not. I was just saying it's getting <laughs> bad out there. That's all. You I've act been, like I'm going political, but I'm not. I was just making the comment. There's your lighter, by the way. Relaxed. I am relaxed. Breathe, my friend. Breathe, breathe my pasty friend. Oh, God. <laughs> Maybe don't breathe so hard. Uh, but yeah, I started making a joke. Uh, all the Will Smith, Jada stuff, started making that joke. Started making a joke about how I used to think that Tupac was dead. That, that, mm. that, that the whole, like, there's a lot of black people that think that Tupac has been alive and well this whole time in Cuba. But he's actually dead. And I told that joke. At uh, 
that that showcase in Bergtown, and this lady in the audience was like, "He alive?" <laughs> see, you see, exactly. I've, I've got. I now believe that he is alive and well in Cuba, hiding from from Jada Pinkett. Um, What's the next bike you're hosted? By day? Monday. Yeah, at OK Culture. Um, I'm back. I'm coming Um, coming to that one. Hell yeah. I was way too fucking tired last week. I I just couldn't do it. Yeah, I get it. Um, it. But uh, I'm going to come to it because um, I have a joke that I need to just kill off. Not kill off, but like I need to work it because I'm actually tempted to turn it into a skit. And I'll tell you off mic and everything about it, but... It's very interesting. It has to do with Texas. so Oh, shit. And the Middle East. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely let's off camera that one. Oh, um, yeah, for now, yeah. How, how's uh, the comedy scene so far? With uh, is, is it still crazy with um, I mean, wokeness? Or is it has it died down and are we... No, so it, it's... You're you're opening for Damon Wayne's. Damon Wayne's Jr. Yeah. Yeah, Jr. Sorry. Um Damon Wayne's Jr. I mean, both incredible comedians, uh incredible uh comedic talents. The audio will be out before the video guys, just a heads up. It's uh it's debatable which one has the better like filmography at this point. Right. And a lot of you know, a lot of brothers are gonna say just senior, just off the strength of blank man. And <laughs> in living color alone and more money, but like I mean, Junior, the other guy. Well, Senior had a TV show, My Wife and Kids, right? Is that the same one I'm thinking of? Okay, yeah, and, I think and Junior I, is technically about Damon Wayne Junior. Yeah, like I the believe character. that that character is 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 fully Roughly, based. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and it's fucking hilarious how he basically based him as a dumbass kid. Yeah. Um. But man, yeah, no, uh, Damon Wayne's Jr., uh, I'm super excited. Five shows this weekend in Tulsa. Hopefully, I do well enough that they just ask me back next month because be he'll, awesome. he'll be in um, OKC uh, the last week of December. Uh, and I would love to do that. That would mean I would basically come off of my first week of hosting at the Looney Bin, Tulsa, uh, December 21st through 23rd. I think, um, for Heather Shaw. Dude, I, I, I'm not trying to interrupt. I feel like it's 11 o'clock already. <laughs> I just, lo- I wasn't looking at my watch because that I was bored. but like, you up, huh? Bro, because, I mean, we don't have windows in here, but when I saw you getting you into the studio and everything, it was dark as fuck. And sure. I'm like, uh, dude, Daniel's it's almost nine. studio is a windowless van, for those who yes. don't know. And currently, <laughs> uh, Stephen Schaub is driving this van. Hey, Stephen. Just kidding. Is that Brendan Schaub's? Okay. I know Brendan Schaub. That's brother. Jesus's. Remember okay. Jesus? Yeah, I remember Jesus. That's his full name. Oh. You just going to throw his government out there? Like any sh- okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we have our government names out there. Why not? I mean. I do need a producer, though. Because this is like, well, you saw how everything got hooked up and everything, and you're like, hey, yo, I can't hear. Is that hear. Iron Man on the Iron Throne on the back of It is. <laughs> I, I'm it almost is. done with my first read-through of the first Game of Thrones book. I haven't read the books. I've seen the two People series. have been telling me for years that I need to read the books. Um, and you know, finally convinced me. Mm. House of the Dragon. I was like, I didn't know that there were so many black people in Game of Thrones. <laughs> Turns out there's not. Um, I don't know if they all die off during the Targaryen age, but all them silver haired black people that's walking around. They're, val- uh, they're the Valerians, or oh. uh, I believe uh, v- Valerians. They are a die off house, though. Yeah, they die off. See, George R. R. Martin knows that black people know magic. <laughs> <laughs> black people just have magic in there because all the valerian steel and all that stuff the, yeah. the, the high valeria that was like the age of like magic and heroes and shit in the, but anyway i'm like five six hundred pages in and guess how many black people i have read about in game of thrones number one. One. one there's one nigga <laughs> in the whole first book um 
has zero lines, maybe one line, I think. He's like a paragraph when they're just describing some people that I think Caitlin Stark is seeing on her travels or like Sansa. It's somebody, actually somebody Sansa sees in high court, I think. And he's just like, and he had skin as black as midnight. Of course he was in high court. You mentioned He it. wasn't the defendant, motherfucker. Okay, like, there it's you not go. That's what, 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 <laughs> he wasn't bitch. the lawyer, was he? <laughs> no. <this laughs> not, it, it wasn't that kind of court, motherfucker. <laughs> there was no litigation going. Well. Uh, ah! Motherfucker. I was trying to get him to snitch on Ed Stark. And he said, uh, snitches get doth. I don't fucking know. Um, but. <laughs> This is like a paragraph, and they're just, it just like he black as fuck, and they move on completely. And I was just like, "That's it, that's it, that's it." Son of a bitch. Super random. Getting off subject, but that's who I am. I'm thinking about doing. You never responded to this. If I took our cartoon heads and turned them into car sense, <laughs> if I just gave them to you, would you sell them for like five to ten bucks? Yeah. And we split the profits. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> 60, 40, right? Because I'm doing all the work. What? Sure. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's 50 50, dog. Um, That's how I see it. I mean, I, I do. It, it's a joke. I don't know how to make the scent part. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, do I just. I might know some people. Do I just soak it in essence? Like oils and stuff, and then pull it? Let's ask our brown friends. Let's ask Kayvon and Yusuf. Would they know? I'm sure they know somebody. You know, I'm, I, I, that I know. Oh this yeah, they own car washes like and stuff like that. Yeah. I'm being racist. But it's it's yeah. But they own car washes and yeah, you're right. I I know like <laughs> Yusuf literally knows like people that make candles and stuff like that. Like we had some candles for sale at the Halloween showcase and. Which, by the way, was stressful as fuck, but incredible. I mean, we flew Cody Smith out, put him up in the same. Cody hotel. Smith, I thought of Cody Freeman for a second. Yeah, I was no, thinking of comedic Cody. Cody, yeah. comedic Cody, Cody Smith. We flew him out. Uh, oh yeah, put him up in the same hotel that Bricktown put him up whenever fuck. he was in town, and we had about two hundred people in OK Culture. Should have stopped at 150, <laughs> but fuck it, let it ride because we had to make sure everybody got paid properly and all that good stuff. Uh, but um, ooh, it was an undertaking. But speaking of Cody Smith, uh, when I get cameras, I'm very close. I'm saving up money. I'm very close to getting uh some camera equipment. I'm thinking whenever you and I hang out, we just kind of shoot scenes here and there when we can. Okay. And I can start piecing things together. I'm still going to pitch the Highness and Boozer Live to the big clubs. Okay, um, I was going to ask about that. Do, like you not, do you not feel like we should maybe start somewhere at like a janky bar, see how it goes first, and then no. adapt it? You think it's going to go fine? Just, yeah. I mean, I'm not, I'm not questioning that you believe in yourself. I'm just thinking we should have a... Bro, like, uh, honestly, all this stuff, and I've seen people... We're going to have a wheel... I've up seen there, right? People, yeah, we're gonna have the wheel. I've seen people attempt live podcasts, I mean, and this is really just more of a showcase. Has Austin Slaughter been showing up? Yeah, he has. Yeah, we need to talk to him because he has a wheel. Okay. So I was just okay. Sorry for interrupting. You I looked really super fucking annoyed, and wheels. I apologize. <laughs> I was just very no, I just taken I apologize. aback. <laughs> I, I apologize for that. My bad. Anyways, continue. Um, continue. I've seen people attempt live podcasts mm -hmm. and generally all the stuff that needs to be ironed out, like all the technical stuff and all the in between and the setup and the explanation and the, all that shit needs to be done in pre or post. Um, right. cause it's, it's not actually live. Like we're going to be broadcasting it no. without editing it immediately. Well, so like we're going it, to, it, it's going to be over. a live taping. Right. And, and once it's over, I assume I'm either going to come with yeah. my laptop to your house or you're going to come over to this creepy little studio and Probably help this, edit. Since yeah. this is closer to both of our home bases. Plus, yeah. we can kind of smoke freely out here yeah. and not have children and people nagging us. But, yeah. Um, Mainly women. Sorry, women. So the main <laughs> thing is um, getting the pitch done. And I feel like 
off of the strength of just some of the video footage and photographs from the Halloween show and some of the other stuff I've been doing. Like I have some clips from my weekend with Matt Belisai. I'm going to get some good footage and clips from my weekend with Damon Wayans Jr. coming up. Um, I will have headlined two local showcases doing like 30 plus minutes. What nights are we thinking or what night do you want to do? I I honestly probably going to shoot for like Sundays, Thursdays or Mondays. And it'd be like, I could probably do that. I'm just, I'm asking because I have the radio gig and right now it's just Friday nights because I'm doing high school football. And this is something I would want to do weekly or even monthly. This would be like a once every one to three months. I was going to say like once every three months or so. Yeah. Yeah. Like a quarterly thing. Kind of like they do most of the local showcases at the big club, you know? Um, Well, hell, why uh, like the bigger podcasts, like, just saying, just an example. I know you hate it, but like uh, Two Bears, One Cave, they don't even do every three months. They do it whenever they want to, you know. Well, this is a completely different animal, but I I feel you. It just like, If you just look at any local showcase. I that, guess their live the, podcast is, oh, sorry for interrupting. None, of, none no, of the no. local showcases other than maybe Roastomania are monthly. You see them every two, three months. Um, and... Now, how I, are we gonna make this so unique that it's us? Because I'm not trying to copy. I KT. mean, the wheel I feel like is the crucial aspect of okay. it, and the fact that it's a showcase first and a podcast second. You okay. know what I mean? Um, yep. The podcast is really just to add extra promotional tools to it and to give the people on the show an extra vehicle to be seen. Okay. Um, you know what I mean? And to do unique sets, that's where the wheel comes into play. Because not only is it a showcase first and a podcast second, but the wheel makes it so it's never going to be your normal straightforward showcase. Even if we have a comedian that you've gone to several of their shows. And seen. Or watch their clips we'll online. We'll put them in a situation or... The wheel will the wheel put them will in a situation that is not normal and is going to make that set unique and something that you're not going to see do we do probably props? ever do we, again. Do we do props? Maybe. For some... Like... We, we, that's, that's the main thing I need to figure out. Um, to I put, almost said we should put headphones on one, like on the wheel, like where the comedian can't hear people laugh, but that's the whole point of comedy. You're supposed to hear your audience and know. So no, but I don't know. I mean, like, we could maybe come up with something similar to that that makes their set more difficult. I don't, I don't know. I don't want to hamstring anybody. I, I eating want, donkey dick while you're doing a set. Oh, sorry, this isn't fear factor, my bad. Yeah, we're definitely not and I'm not going to put anybody in position to do anything that I wouldn't do professionally and I'm not physically eating dick. I mean, I think all of us comedians have metaphorically ate a dick or two on stage, but um <laughs> Yeah. But the wheel is the, the you know, that's going to make I literally it ate a bag of dicks on stage. I need to put together a few more categories so the wheel is complete and that's the main part of the pitch that is missing is exactly what the wheel is going to be and narrowing down the budget like how many sets are we going to have plus that one big feature set that we're going to try to pay somebody a little extra and get some bigger names in that spot so we do eventually have a headline for our podcast yeah, I don't know if I want to ever call it the headliner because I don't think we'll be able to, you know, it's going to be a local budgeted show unless there's bonuses for like selling out and we get to the point where we do start selling it out. Then we can talk about bringing people like Cody in or some of these other people that I'm meeting and, and, and making connections with. But for now, it's going to have to be people that, you know, could could do it for $100 conceivably. Yeah. Uh, folks like Mikey B or, or, or Julie Drake or... <laughs> yeah, of course yeah, not no, me no, no, in this no. exact but you know people that are like in that I, Neil Rubenstein Johnson. Andrew Rose um, yeah Mari Johnson yeah. Um, who's the uh, oh god I forgot his name I haven't seen him in a long time but he's in Dallas Mikey B? No the other one the other one <laughs> the long haired hippie looking one 
I don't know about hippie, but long hair, Shivari. No, his last name's Johnson. I, uh, he <sighs> fell off stage. <sighs> and we know this person? Yeah. He's come around, or Adrian does at least. I don't know. <sighs> uh, Casey Rocket? Who? You know, Kay- yeah, you, you mentioned Casey Rocket. Uh, he was just on Kill Tony a while back. Who fell off stage? <laughs> Johnson. <laughs> Johnson. Johnson. He's friends with Mikey B. He's been on Mikey B's podcast. Oh, Joey Johnson? Joey Johnson. Fell off stage? Yeah, he fell off stage. Oh, God. This but, was a while back. Uh, Did you you know you didn't know, see his video or anything about no. it? No. Yeah, he posted a video and everything. Wild. Damn. I guess he thought there was stage there. And, and he there just, was no more stage. Yeah. Darkness and dipped. I've done that in just regular life situations. Um, thankfully have not done it on stage. Knock on wood. What's the old bar up to, to Kindles? Have you checked that out ever? No, it's something else. And not just, I think aura told me that they were interested in maybe doing something. Uh, and he encouraged me to go by there and check it out, but I, I couldn't bring myself to do that. Really? It was, you know, yeah, it's just not, it won't be the same. And I'm not interested in, that's like. No, I see your point. Yeah. I'm I almost stopped in and was like, I don't know if Brandon has tried or anything. And I was going to, I was going to try to pitch it too, but then I was like, I don't want to do anything without. I don't want to be that guy like. Brandon say or anything. force the glory days back into a place that's just never going to be the same. And it's not like that was a great location. We just, it, it just became something special. It became a home base. Because of all the great times and all the care and, and effort that was put into those shows and, and those mics. We brought the Highness and Boozer live there. But you couldn't you couldn't replicate that uh, in no. another, it, like in just in the same building under another yeah. it's, it's not no. gonna be the same. It wouldn't be, no. So, um, but, you know, other things. Uh, I got another venue that I'm looking at that I won't drop the name yet because I am completely put together my APK for them and my ideas for them, but it's, it's a doozy. Uh, no, uh, actually, December 17th, Great White Buffalo. I was going to say, okay. Yeah, that's locked in now. I got to Because you mentioned the something about them. I'll have that fully booked and some sort of promo out for it by the end of this week. But yeah, Great White Buffalo, December 17th, first, uh, first one showcase. So. I got nothing. <laughs> I was going to pitch something, and then my you mind just went uh, off help to me somewhere promote else. this fucking thing, man. I'll help you promote it. I was going to say bring the podcast there, too, but no, we want to fucking bring it to a big venue. I'm just saying, like, my whole idea is try it out in a smaller venue, and I'm not even saying take, I mean, it, take over the showcase that you're doing at Great White Buffalo. We do a pre-thing yeah, like we, we did should, at Kendall's. Yeah, we should totally do that. What night is that? <laughs> I think it's it the a 17th? Saturday. I could probably. It's either Saturday or Sunday. I, can't remember. Hang on. I know the 16th, I am headlining the Pony Boy. I wonder for my job if I could. You hear me, fucker? I'm headlining no, the Pony Boy on the 16th. You I'll bring your ass down to OKC. Okay, okay, chill. I wonder for my job if I could just maybe borrow the headsets. I don't know. But if I can get. Over because headsets would be. Never mind. I'll shut up. No, headsets would be one. Headsets would be better than dragging these arms and mics out long. You know what I mean? We just plug in and go, and we have the whole headphones and the mic plugged in, and we're going. Right on, yeah. You know? It's way and more we have, important. Than if we have guests. <laughs> Damn, I don't know if this is, bro. If we have guests. Nah, go ahead. <laughs> we're good. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> we're good. Uh, God, I miss this podcast. Pod- podcast? Podcast. There it is. I'm high. <sighs> good, 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 good. I'm going to have to spend $20 Tw- for this TikTok. So I learned behind a little BTS real quick. Behind the scenes. I know you, your mind was thinking real quick. <laughs> uh <laughs> There's an app that I use. Like have, you've seen the videos with you and I going back and forth. Yeah, yeah. Those videos are because of a AI app. 
that. So I'll put a certain time of the video in, and it will just generate important things, and it'll go back and forth with it. Whole it's kind of creepy. Fucking writers and actors strike. It saves me time from editing. Okay. <laughs> so December 16th I'm headlining <laughs> Pony Ranch <laughs> There we go uh, It's a free show So there's literally no reason to not Like come see a boy do something That he's been trying to do for a long time Which is like get to that headlining You know everybody, we all want to get To that point So uh, come watch me do that RSVP on their website, in fact. If I can get like 100 plus people to RSVP to this thing and come to this thing, I'm going to try to talk them into let me do a little extra time and recording it. And that would be my first little special. So you should get on board with helping me make that happen. Okay. Yeah. Um. It took me so long. <laughs> Sorry, what? <clears throat> if we do that, we're going to have to get extra cords. Like, because everything will have to feed into this board over here to get the audio at least. And then camera wise. I probably already have the cords that you require, mm-hmm. honestly. Just well, if you do the wireless. Okay. That works so even better. Dongles. I know it could get interference. Saying. You never know. I don't know. What Depends where we are. Have you been to the Pony Boy? No, I oh. haven't. Yeah. Real, just offset question: Is the Paramount back? Because I saw it on Leo's. I don't know. Okay, it's not what it was. If it is, you okay. know what I mean. There's, there's a mic. There's a mic. Okay, at the Paramount. Uh, I think Christy Boone runs it. I believe. I was gonna say Katie something or Christy, yeah. Yeah. It starts with a K. It's it's Christy. Okay. <laughs> Not I I just no, okay. Uh yeah, no, I I think I I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that, honestly. Okay. Um then the improv is having an open mic? Improv. I I've actually oh. been once. I went uh, last week. And last it's a clean Tuesday. mic, right? It's not like squeaky okay. clean. It's just like I mean, pretty much everybody at this point has taken some sort of stance on, like, don't just... Go cunt. People just, people and venues are tired of, of watching you guys walk half or more of the audience because you want to swing for the fences about just shit that is just terrible and not really funny. Gotcha. I don't know. My whole bit I have that I'll tell you that I mentioned earlier, I think is fucking hilarious. But like I said, I have to tell you off mic because. (laughs) (laughs) Definitely don't do that one at the improv if you have to. Texas and the Middle East. Yeah. I I, I honestly. Let me tell you about it and then I'll get your. One of my rules. right now. Don't shut it just down. (laughs) One of my rules right now. My mics and shows that I run. I can't control what people do outside of those, but like, it, it used to just be no rape jokes. Now it's no rape jokes, and don't talk about the Israel Palestine situation. It's just not funny, and it's Damn. like the then I, the I, I definition, may, like the embodiment of too soon. Like it's literally still fucking happening. I, I may <laughs> like, not, I may not be there Monday. Because I got to work this joke out. Like, this, I haven't even worked the joke anywhere. So, like, I, I just mean, wrote it. I like, mean, show up. But, yeah, don't do not do that joke. I'll tell you about it afterwards. Don't shut down my joke until you've heard it. I mean, I'll listen to your joke, but don't do it at my mic. It's just not worth It's not worth it for me. And, honestly, not even, like, worrying about the, the repercussions. I'm a great like, when, when do I show up? My soul is tired of... <laughs> I get it. After like the, I just asked you about the scene, and you're like, more like it, 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 this isn't even the scene. This is me, man. Like honestly, two days after the festival attack, yeah, 
the music. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. My whole mind went to Oklahoma City. I'm like, there was a festival. Of I got what you're saying. <laughs> no. Two days after that. Yep. There were, I, I was at an open mic. I think it broke down. And six comics in, <laughs> I heard my sixth horrible, not even fully constructed joke about it. <sighs> And I was just fucking disgusted and already just so tired of it. It was just like, why? I I don't understand the thought process of like, it's not even funny going situation. there. No, no, it's no. not. And that's there's no my, my, take my... on it that's going to make it funny. It's still fucking <laughs> happening. And it's one of the most horrific fucking things Yes. That has happened, at least in our fucking lifetime. Like it's it's a Holocaust two point oh. It's uh, it it that's in my opinion it is I don't I don't know. So like, why even the juice is not anywhere near worth the squeeze, man. It's it it's just not funny. And 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 to 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 make a joke about anything to be so insistent on making a joke about anything. That you're gonna rush it out there like not even fully constructed, like it's not even an actual joke. Just like I had, just, I gotta say something. Like get well, the that, fuck out of here. No, with that I get, I get that garbage, part, man. and that's why I have a joke that I'm going to tell you after this. Right. And I, I mean, and I'll I don't, to I don't joke, think it's as bad as anyone else's. I think if, it's a whole different point of view. And you might be right, but I would still ask you at this moment to not tell that at any of my. If that is the subject matter of it, I don't want it told at any production that I am putting on. Everybody has the right to say whatever they want to say. That doesn't mean I have to give them a platform to do so. There's only two subjects that are off limits at my shows and mics. That leaves a whole wealth of things to talk about. <laughs> like, if you can't be funny and not talk about just two things, then you can't be funny, man. Like, it's honestly, like, I'm not restricting you. You're restricting yourself by, like, shoehorning. Like, yeah, like, there, there's thing, yeah. a billion other fucking things to talk about. Definitely, definitely. I, I, uh, Kayvon committed to coming on right after the incident and uh you and I have talked and we 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 I I I found out why he didn't appear and uh it's 100% understandable yeah man so like, i'm, I'm is, i I, I haven't serious, I, I haven't bugged him about coming back on and discussing that i bugged him about coming back on but not discussing that right. you know what i mean like yeah. I'm not um I'm not a fucking reporter. I'm not a journalist. Yeah. I'm a fucking I want to say I'm a comedian, but I mean it's been a while since I've been on stage, but at the same time I'm like I'm here doing podcast. I'm well, I say I'm here doing podcast. I'm more doing leather work nowadays, but I mean <laughs> you're the one that actually kind of uh, brought this back to be honest tonight. So I have you to thank for that. Oh yeah. I was Cuz I was honestly going Oh, sorry for No, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, bro. Um, if you can't tell, uh, we're getting into winter. This place isn't really insulated. Oh, yeah. Uh, I was going to shut things down for at least the winter or unless it, uh, until I get at least a bigger heater or whatnot to yeah. actually make us some semi comfortable because that's just aluminum. Right. And then outdoors. Well, I so. feel like we, uh, we caught one of the last like really warm days, so I, I mean, I'm also looking at different locations around town now that you're here and everything. So, like, and I know you're not making a whole bunch of money. I'm not either. But if we can find a place that's 300 bucks, that's kind of a shithole, but we can build up. I've got some, some other options as far as that goes. And I've had so many people offer to let me use their space to oh. podcast or record skits or, or <coughs> do, like, it, it, and I've been, I've been fucking busy. Um, that's I honestly know. one of the reasons why I wanted to do this tonight is because this is like the first chance that I've had to really just like stop and sit down and be like, hey, this is everything that I have going on. Because <laughs> it's been 
bless you. <laughs> it's Sorry. been it's been just going so nonstop and so fast, and things are just popping up, popping up uh, that I don't stop, and right. it, I'm bad about going too long without stopping and taking a minute. So not only can I not just like catch everybody up and announce everything at once, but I also just break myself down. That's why I had to cancel the mic last week. I was just, I saw pictures from my set at Lively Beer Works, which by the way, I'll be back there December 3rd. Great show. Nicholas Campbell puts on a great show. Lively Beer Works, usually the first Sunday of every Nicholas month. Nicholas Campbell, why does that sound familiar? Newer guy on the scene, but I'm, I'm sure you've seen him or heard some of his stuff. Um, Is he the chunkier guy? <laughs> he's got a joke about being husky. Yeah. Is he the mushroom guy? No. No, Who am that's I thinking? A totally. You're thinking of Nick Flamingo Magic. Let's not go there. <laughs> okay, <laughs> my t- bad. <laughs> talking about. Things on the air, you yeah, shall shout not. Um, anyway, <laughs> um, it's called cutting around. I <laughs> saw the pictures of me doing comedy at the last lively showcase uh, last Sunday, and I looked like dog shit. I looked so looked exhausted. Tired. I was like, I'm not doing shit tomorrow. I can't. I ne- I need to take a break. Usually I don't until like my body tells me like hey, no. Did you we go sleeping. to a mic yesterday? Yeah, no, I went to Bricktown yesterday. Today's Wednesday though, and um, right and Othello's. I went to the Othello's okay. had comics uh, appreciation night. See, I'm going crazy when you said Bricktown. I'm like, today's Wednesday, right? Or they still do a mic Wednesday night? Yeah, yeah. I wasn't on the list tonight, Adrian, so I figured I wasn't gonna drive all that way for it, maybe. <laughs> Yeah. Is Adrian still running his mic afterwards? Um, The one at Rad Bar? No. That one's okay. been gone for a while. He still does a showcase at Rad Bar. There's one coming up this Friday, uh, Friday night. It's called A Little Later at Rad Bar. I was supposed to be on that, but then they booked me on this uh, Damon Wayne's thing. So catch me up on all the open mics real quick that you <sighs> are Man. aware of. You got to really go to www.standupmics.com. Big ups to Leo Mendes. That is a free public service that he puts on Absolutely. right now that he really ought to be paid for. So he, if he, he ever turns covers, that into a paid service, I'm sure it'll be a fair price. But y'all need to pay that shit. Pay he covers man. multiple states. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, but, God, let's see. Monday, there's Fairweather Friends. Um, and then my OK Culture mic. Do those cross over at all? I think they're no, no, I, and and mine is advertised at sign up at eight, show at eight thirty. I need to change that to sign up at eight thirty, show at nine, because we never start <laughs> at eight thirty. <clears throat> I don't know why I thought that we would be able to pull that off, but it's not happening. Um, but yeah, because so that, you want to get the fuck out of there as soon as possible. That's, that's facts. You gotta too. try. You know my pain now, dude. It's crazy. I mean, you, you do realize, like, the first probably two or three years that I did comedy, I lived in Perkins. Oh, I did not. <laughs> I did not I, no. Yeah. Okay. Never yeah. mind. Um, but, yeah, I, I mean, I've been suffering on that. But now gas is kind of like, I'm kind of like. getting a little more reasonable. Yeah, and I'm kind of getting a little jumpy back. And, I mean, you know, Ashley Watson has told me it's hard to get back into it once you've kind of been out of it, which I agree. But at the same time, like, she's always kind of nagging me. She's like, you can come to the mic here and there. Man, I it, it, as, as as exhausting as it is, um, you know, that's why I I don't fully stop. And I, I, I push myself as hard as I do and do, I try to do as much as I do because – you got to get some kind of momentum going, man. And once you do, you got to keep striking while that iron's hot. Cause you never know. There's moments in the back of my head when I see like posts that like you're succeeding and everything. And I'm like, fuck, am I just riding Brandon's coattails? And I'm, I'm not trying to, that's not my goal. You know, like I try, like, I tried to have you on the Huey cast, and I try to get you to do the Highness and Boots, or, or not tried, but we try to schedule it and whatnot, and things happen. But, like, 
I just, I, I, I want to make it clear. I'm not trying to ride your coattails. I'm trying to also become successful myself. Like, I don't feel like okay. my coattails are big enough to be ridden at this point, to be 100% honest. Okay. Good things are so, happening. So it's just the back of my head. And talking. I've had an incredible year. Don't get me wrong. I like when I think back on everything that's because it's pretty much all of it has happened this year. I mean, I did Maddie Smith last year and maybe a couple other things here and there. Um, but, it's, but what you're saying is it's all in I mean, back of my head. I, it's d- not, d- yeah, yeah dude, I'm not there yet. <laughs> you, you, dude, you don't say that. You're you're fucking getting there. I'm somewhere. I'm you're, somewhere yeah, exactly. that I was not before and you're getting there <laughs> but yeah you've got it's not you've got, like, you got a long ways to go but you're getting there yeah yeah and i'm proud of you thank you and i just want to make it clear i'm not trying to ride your coattails or anything for sure so. no yeah it, 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 i, I, I want to be the next con, uh like moderate howard stern <laughs> <laughs> And also, but I don't want to make fun of my uh, host the or like that, my guests. The stuff you know? that we do here is a collaborative effort, and I want this all to go to the next level and to be successful. So even if we capitalize on the good things that are happening to me elsewhere to get it to the next level, I don't consider that riding my coattails as long as you don't just become a lazy bitch and just not I mean, I'm cooperate. Uh, Which we've had <laughs> in the past. Okay, <laughs> I'll only admit. I'll admit that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but I like, pulled Bobby Lee. So yeah. Oh God. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> just we've had you, our Daniel. Bobby Lee, Andrew Santino moments, just, ladies and gentlemen. Just be you, Daniel. <laughs> I am me, man. I'm just weird. As Which am I. I mean, yeah, I was gonna say, which is everyone. We're all weird. Yeah, I mean, this is a weird business. This is a weird presumptuous thing to even do <laughs> maybe not necessarily this quite so much but like stand-up comedy like that's insane podcasting is sometimes weird yeah. if you don't have a subject like what we're doing i mean we did kind of go into this complete i had like a small jada pinkett based <laughs> premise and some things to promote <laughs> and that's about it but like if you listen to like those bigger podcasts you have pat uh, mcafee which is sports you have joe rogan which is kind of just whatever you yeah. know but like you also have those com comedy ones uh theo vaughn has his you know all those kind of stuff and i look at the buddy ones like uh two bears one cave and bad friends and i'm like yeah i'm sad that it's getting further and further away from halloween because i did this like bit it's 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 one of my few like dad dad jokes just do it and i love it i I can't just like beat it to death all year you know what i mean so you haven't been it's about to go away tell it so i've been oh yeah no so like i just like ask about like if there's parents in the audience like you guys do the trick-or-treating thing you guys do the parent thing where you like you take all the candy you like and tell your kid it's probably got drugs in it so you gotta get rid of it and destroy it yeah i did that and then my kid caught me like not even an hour later eating said drug candy <laughs> what's that dr- i'm just i had to think fast so it's just like i like drugs you little fucking narc okay like I, Get out of here before these Reese's Pieces kicks in. <laughs> so, God, yeah, I love that. I wrote also the nastiest joke that I've ever written. <laughs> and it's the only joke I've ever written that doesn't have a shred of truth in it. Other than... Are you, you going to burn it here? I'll burn it here. I've been burning it on stage. I mean, it's <laughs> it still works. And not everybody's going to see this anyway. Uh, true, but, true. So. Um, so I'm single, mm-hmm. recently single, and I decided this time. Like, Are you recently though? It's, fa- it's fairly recent. It's fairly recent. I guess. Um, still playing on. Just no, it's, it is. <laughs> I'm just giving you shit. Wait, we're. I've gotten in and out of a relationship since the last time I've been on your podcast, Daniel. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna go there. Um, but <laughs> no, we'll go. On, we'll go there after this, though. God damn it. But yeah, so it's like I'm recently single, and uh, it's, I did the I did the break it up. So I decided I'm gonna this time I'm gonna do all the stupid, like fun shit, all the dumb fun shit that single people do that I never do. I'm gonna have fun with it this time. 
So I bought a penis pump. <laughs> yeah. Works great. The milk is terrible, though. Um, <laughs> salty. Jesus. God. <laughs> that's a good one that's cool when i did that matt belisai weekend i love i really want to do more shows for like famous gay dudes like features. is he gay like yeah um I know that. and it's, it's his audience was just like they were so chill and so like just giving they loved everything they laughed at everything they laughed their asses off at that joke not only did they laugh at that i got a woo <laughs> <laughs> i was like okay y'all are all right that, sometimes that doesn't get even get a laugh. It never gets a woo. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, they were awesome though. Like certain crowd brings out and certain com- certain comedians bring out certain crowds. And gay dudes have a superpower that I wish black dudes had. It it would be more useful to us. They can shut down a Karen <laughs> like fucking magic. <laughs> Like for real, and I think it's because they pronounce "bitch" correctly. Like they say it in a way that it's not offensive to women. It is, I, I think it's the "bitch." Like I don't know, I I can't do it. But <laughs> this lady, <laughs> the audience started being a Karen. Bye. And 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 he just literally was like, "No, bitch." <laughs> God damn it! We're not doing this. <laughs> and she just. Deactivated. I was like, I didn't know that that was fucking possible. It was amazing and would have been so useful so many times in my life. Is that still lightable? I think so. Cool. How do you like that sleeve? <sighs> I made that. The W, I, I, I'm guessing, is for weed. Mm hmm. I don't think you need the W and the leaf. That's my only. I, cri- I that's my fuck, only critique. Fuck it, yellow. Yeah, but hey, no. You put it twice, so that's like yalt. You only live twice. <laughs> Sorry, fuck. <laughs> I like it though. It's nice. Well, this is the last time I ever do leather. <laughs> <laughs> Because of Brandon. <laughs> Dissing on my leather. <laughs> I'm, I'm done, guys. Just saying the W and the leaf is redundant. It's, it's just... It's, it's like saying weed weed. It's like chai tea. You're saying TT. <sighs> well, this was a fun podcast, Brandon. Thanks Thank for uh, coming. Thank you for having me. Thanks for doing this. <sighs> well, you got plug. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you Why I think we've been going you? about we, we, just, we have been going about probably an hour though Can I just hang out with you and enjoy this moment More Daniel. than welcome to hang out I've been thinking about getting politicians on this thing Fuck that Alright uh, Let's see <laughs> <laughs> He bails on that Nope fuck that Let's move on Monday Night Mike Kill a comedy show at OK Culture <laughs> Oh, we're just skipping to everything. Um, this weekend, actually this Thursday through Saturday, I don't know when this is going to air. I was going to say, <laughs> when do you think this is going to air, dog? I don't, I, don't, I don't give a fuck if it's going to air after that. I got to plug this anyway just because I'm excited and proud. And I haven't talked about it a lot because I don't even know what to say. Damon Wayne Jr., Bricktown Comedy Club, Tulsa. I'll be opening... It's dope. I'm proud of this guy. I'm proud of you, dude. Thank you. Thank you. I'm um, lucky to uh, call you my friend. Oh. Oh. I'm lucky to call you my friend. That's what I was waiting for. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> my heart was racing. See how I saved it. <laughs> he, was, he was wanting to say acquaintance. <sighs> Did I not say acquaintance? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> uh, broke Brewing. Brokeback Mountain Brewery? Jesus Christ, no. Oh. Broke Brewing Company. Mm, oh, God. Or Broke Brewery. I don't know. It's off uh, North Tulsa. Like, uh, it, it's, we're going to be there on Black Friday at 8 p.m. That's that, when this podcast will release. That is also. 
Ooh, that's also a free show. So um, (laughs) we know that that's Black Friday. We know that y'all are going to be annoyed at your families from Thanksgiving and tired and stressed out from trying to shop for Christmas and do all the Black Friday bullshit. Uh, So just come enjoy a free show and drink some fucking beer uh, at a dope ass local brewery. Uh, support local business yeah. and local comedy all at once. Absolutely. And let us help you relax after a bullshit ass day because Black Friday is garbage. Absolutely. And we shouldn't call it Black Friday. That is the least black Listen, thing that I've ever. This podcast heard is going to come out life. before a certain podcast that you and a certain somebody did with me. It's going to come out after or before? Be, at, this podcast will come out before that podcast. Okay. And that podcast is going to be a bonus podcast on Black Friday, guys. Because it has a special name, thanks to Kayvon, our special guest. <laughs> Look for the Save Our Darks first episode. Oh, no. Love you guys. Oh, no. We'll see you later. Peace. I wasn't done plugging stuff. (laughs) All right, keep on plugging. Keep on. Keep on plugging. Um, God, where was I? God damn it. Oh, um, (laughs) fuck. (laughs) (laughs) December third, the best of lively showcase uh at lively beer works 6 p.m 5 p.m doors i think okc egg rolls is gonna do the food again they're amazing come check that out i think it's only like a five dollar show uh, and i don't know who all is gonna be in the lineup but it says best of and he's had some heavy hitters so it's gonna be a great lineup you're um, in it obviously right yeah i'm in it yeah um, there's one person guys i've got uh uh comedy avenue in lawton December 10th, me, Leo Mendes, Nick Campbell, Will Davis, hosted by Andrew Patterson. Um, okay. Excited about that show. Uh, Headline and Pony Boy, another free show. Uh, December 16th. December 17th, Great White Buffalo. December 21st through 24th, or 23rd, I'm sorry, uh, hosting at Looney Bin. Tulsa uh, for Heather Shaw with feature Julie Drake. It's going to be a great series of shows. I'm very, very excited to uh, meet and work with Heather Shaw uh, and to, you know, do my first week up at the Looney Bin. And hopefully if this Damian Wayne's Jr. weekend goes good enough and they like me, they'll just bring me back for the OKC shows, which I think is like December 27th through 31st or something like that. I don't know. Check it out at BricktownComedyClub.com. Are you done? Yeah, I think so. I wasn't trying to be rude. I was just... That was a little rude. That's fine. That's fine. I haven't even finished my beer, but that's fine. I'll leave. Well, guys, that was another Highness and Boozer episode. This is the first episode on YouTube. <laughs> This is the first episode recorded. You can feel the tension in the air. <laughs> I think he just, he's annoyed and wants me to leave now. I'm tired. <laughs> Fuck it. Okay. All right. Okay. No, I'm actually, I'm fine. I just, I, I don't know how long these uh, phones are going to last. Should have known the boozer already finished his beer. It's I'm a try sta- to take it and make a statement. Listen, it's a stage name. I will drink when I need to. Look at this, the highness. I even outsmoked the highness. I've been hitting you my. You didn't vape. outsmoke me. You just took a bunch of my cigarettes, and you wouldn't pass the fucking joint. You're a narcotics agent. I knew it. Do you hear this? He can't fucking handle his alcohol. He's 
making noises over there. <laughs> I miss this. <laughs> you know this is going to be at the beginning. <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> All right, love you guys. Peace. Hello, Mark Trotter. How are you? Hey, I'm good. How are you? Good. Welcome to the Healy Cast. What's up, Kelly Freeman? What's going on? Man? How we doing? Good. How are you? Good. <coughs> Hello, Marty. Oh, hey, buddy. What's up, man? How you doing? Doing good. How are you? Next, how are you doing? What's your real name? What's your government name? That is my first question. I'm just going to go right off the bat and go. JJ Wood. What's up? Long time listener, first time uh, guest. Really excited to be here. Y'all have headphones now? You get yeah, crazy. I got Healy, everyone. what year were you born? 97, 96? See, all right. Technically, you're a 90s baby, but you missed half of it. 